The ROV Ventana just completed its 4500th dive. This is the vehicle where we capture video imagery of the deep sea. This is our first peek at what the scientists collected while they were out at sea. This is where we can see if there's any new or exciting animals that they have captured. Making your way through the hallways at Nabari, you'll recognize the video lab as a very dark cave. I'm Nancy Jacobson-Stout, and I manage the video lab here at Embari. My team is responsible for managing Embari's extensive deep sea video archives. So this is our server room. We have the capacity to store volumes of data that the video lab's producing. Talking big numbers. We have over 30,000 hours of video and over 10 million annotations at this point. So it can be challenging to find that needle in the haystack. When Embari was first created, we realized that for this video archive to be truly useful, it needed to be systematically cataloged. So our video annotation and reference system, or VARS, enable us to review, analyze, and take detailed notes about what we are seeing. And by annotation, that's just a fancy name for anything that we see on the video. So it could be an animal, it could be geology, and so we'll add those in so that we can go back and search for it later. Across all of the 10 million annotations that have been created, a researcher can ask a question about where we've seen a certain animal, how many times, and at what depths. It's great to have oh, and here we can, this grid view. We can zoom in. We often collaborate with researchers around the world and with so many people relying on this video for their research. That is a tremendous weight on our shoulders. We have an ever-increasing amount of video and imagery data coming into the lab. And at this point in time, we just can't keep up with that amount of work. So we're starting to use machine learning. Machine learning is a branch of AI it takes a lot of labeled data to train a computer model. That means we've actually looked at images and drawn boxes around those objects. The computer models will look at this labeled data and learn how to identify these different objects, but it takes about a thousand labels for the model to learn what that concept is. I love seeing these animals that nobody else has seen before, and some of them we're seeing for the first time, and that's really exciting. This is my favorite jellyfish, Tetrarchus erythrogaster. It kind of wiggles the ends of its tentacles like a fishing lure when it's trying to catch food. Look at that. <laughs> I'm one of the people that produces and edits the videos for our YouTube channel, and those videos are actually used across all of our social media platforms. The deep sea is the largest habitat on our planet, and some people think the deep sea is a desert and nothing is down there. But we're bringing the animals that live in the deep sea to our audience, and we really want to create a connection with these animals. Oh no, it got it. Look at that, Lindsay. We have a team of experts in marine biology, and the projects that we are tackling are challenging and multifaceted sort of like a squid with eight arms moving in all directions. Science is absolutely a team sport. There we go. My hope in sharing these beautiful videos is to inspire people to care about the ocean and create empathy for these animals that live in the deep. My hope is when people see these beautiful animals that I get to see every day, they'll feel the need to protect this environment and follow a path of conservation so that we have this environment for our kids and their kids. And I think it'll make the world a better place. <laughs> <laughs>